Hi and welcome on my channel. Today I want to show you how to connect virus TI synthesizer with MacBook Pro and make it running like should with Ableton Live for example. The operating system is Mac Big Sur, the latest one, 11.4. Also, I have a MacBook Air of my friend with M1 processor. So we will try install the same software on M1 and check if it works like should. Let's get started. Here is my Virus TI2, Dark Star, and a couple holes in the wall. It's connected with two jacks to my Focusrite 4i4 and the MIDI connection between Virus and Mac is through the USB port. Like we can see, it's going somewhere there on over the bed is connected somewhere here and one cable to the Mac. We need to go to Virus Info website, go to Support, Downloads and we're getting the latest version, it's 5.1.7 for Mac OS. It's indicated that this version is not compatible with Mac OS Catalina, but anyway, we need that driver for the MIDI transmission. All right. Install that. Hello. Please connect your virus. It's connected. Forward, forward, forward. Agree. Install password. That will take a while. Now we're going to Mystery Island Music website and we can download demo version of the Access Virus HC. I have a full version, so I get in that one. All right, let's start our live session. Now we can see in preferences that our virus ti midi and send is present we leaving that like now we setting audio input and output for our scarlet 4i4 128 samples should be enough for now all right and now we starting our plugin that's called Mystery Island Virus HC Editor. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Max, 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 max. All right. <sighs> Let's choose the skin. I like TI MK2. Model TI range. And we need to choose the virus TI sent MIDI in and MIDI out, virus TI sent. Plugin is ready to go. Now we can route the MIDI channels for, for multi timbral. So we're getting one MIDI track, second, third fourth will be enough. We're changing MIDI output to Virus HC Editor, track 1, and similar track 2, track 3, and track 4. 
yeah now we need to audio routing so we're just simply adding the audio track external in probably i'll need to change the channel for three and four because i didn't configure that i will see virus working not on this channel so we need to configure them audio inputs that will be three and four that's what i remember in my case all right let's check it yep we have virus on board by the way we need to put our virus to the multi mode So now we are ready to recording. Let's do some noise with virus. Just the sound. set our Ableton MIDI clips. I have Ableton push so that will take a couple moments. Quantization, metronome, fix and length for four bars. Changing the channel for the second one. Yeah. Changing the channel for second one. Virus is routed to Virus HC Editor second channel. Changing the channel to now. Change this sound to the recent. By, by the way, all right, by the way, what I want to do, I just do resample this MIDI track to another audio track, just to make the virus to have more space for other sounds. So external in, like usually, three and four, right off, let's arm and resample the track. Simply, 
this track we're leaving for the audio preview for audio monitoring and the, and, and we just adding the channel for the recording for resampling so the second channel was that one let's record that just resampling the audio from the virus. Arming the channel, hit record. We can record longer to have, for example, 8 bucks. Okay, I need some bags. Right, so the simplest way, like for me for now, I will use the Avenger drums. Because I like them, there's lots of presets there. <laughs> so I don't have a time for do mine now. So drum sequencer. So that could be Deep House or ADM, we'll see. Just simple. Keep it simple to have something. Okay, let's go, let's get back to our virus now. So, let's add something more. Sometimes I like just going through the patches and looking for the inspirations. For me, this is the way. This is the way. Forgiven, like the sound. But on the channel one. Processor. And we will try install also the virus on that machine. Right. I'll try this later. References. Audio. We have also our, our virus TI, TI input, but it's only physical input and output using Scarlet T for I4. Huh. And what we can see 
the virus is not appearing here. So, the solution for that is connect a virus by MIDI cables. Alright, I did mess around a little bit and drivers for the M1 doesn't work. So, what I did, I just connect virus TI MIDI inputs and outputs to my Scarlett 4i4 MIDI and probably that should work now. All right, we're starting our live session and we'll see what's happening. I'm curious also. Starting the virus HC editor. We need to remember to switch the virus in multi mode. Okay. Model TI range, MIDI in Scarlet 4i4 USB, and the same for MIDI out. Plugin is ready to go. Let's get Patch Librarian. We need to add also the audio track for monitoring. External in, 3 and 4. Input active, and let's see. Works! Everything works. Change the patch. Let's change the patch. Works like should. Great. Great. All right. So if that works, everything else should also work. Let's see what the latency at the recording. So just some straight, quick recording. Here, just quick loop. Nothing more. Nothing more. And let's sample that. Record from external. Okay. Arming the channel. And I see works great. All right, that's great. So, okay, you know what? After this video, I'm sure that virus works with Mystery Island on M1 processor and i9. So, hope you like it, this video. Subscribe, stay for more. <laughs> Cheers.